King of the Cage provoked heads to Oregon, and there was supposed to be a champion versus champion bout as middleweight champ Daniel Madrid was due to fight heavyweight champion Tony Lopez at 185 pounds. However, Madrid left KOTC, and now Lopez will fight Mike Hayes for the vacant light heavyweight belt. For the light heavyweight championship bout, Lopez, who's 43-23, is coming off a loss in his last fight in June, while he defended his heavyweight title with a split decision over Nathan Bryan in May. Hayes, who's 20-11-2, battled former 205-pound champion Trevor Prankley to a draw last June and beat Jamil Jones in a split decision in May. He's very well rounded with 7 TKO KO wins as well as submissions, and Hayes has only been stopped once. Lopez can also beat you in a number of ways with 16 knockouts and 20 submissions, but he sometimes gets reckless. Take Hayes to win the light heavyweight title. Our pick for this fight is Hayes. For the heavyweight bout of the night, Davenport, who's 2-2, seems to be doing this backwards as he was 2-2 as a pro from 2009 from 2011, but he has fought as an amateur since then, going 3-6. Janet, who's 0-1, lost a split decision to Juan Figueroa in his pro debut in February, and he split his four amateur fights. This fight will end a TKO or KO. Our pick for this fight is Janet. For the bantamweight bat of the night, Weinrich, who's 2-2, won both of his amateur fights before moving to the pros, while Atkinson, who's 2-2, was 5-1 as an amateur and then moved up. However, Atkinson has not fought since January 2014, so Ringrost will give the edge to Weinrich and Atkinson is moving up from 135 pounds to 145 pounds. For the light heavyweight bout of the night, Hopkins, who's 0-2, has not fought since June 2010, and that will be a problem against Byron, who's 1-0, who won his pro debut in November 2015 with a first-round KO, and he was a sparkling 9-0 as an amateur. Both men usually fight heavier than 205 pounds, which could be an issue, but at least Byron has been active. Our pick for this fight is Byron. For the next bantamweight bout of the night, Elliot, who's 0-1, lost his pro debut by second round submission, but he was 2-0 with an L contest as an amateur, which is promising. Boehm, who's 1-0, won his pro debut in April by unanimous decision, and he was 3-2 as an amateur. Both are promising prospects on the MMA circuit, but give the edge to Boehm as an Oregon native. Our pick for this fight is Boehm. 